Tulsi Gabbard says she's leaving the Democrats. Uh, the ex-Congresswoman says the party is controlled by an elitist cabal of warmongers driven by cowardly wokeness who stoke anti-white racism and protect criminals. Uh, this is from the Daily Mail. And uh, it just it struck me. I like Tulsi Gabbard, at least when I hear her talk. I, I'm not real deep in the, you know, in the weeds as far as all, what are all her policies are on everything, but I have seen her on conservative talk shows and she's willing to debate. She's willing to talk about issues. She's willing to take things head on. She doesn't turn around like a lot of these woke uh, Democrats do and run away from a conversation because they're hearing something that they don't want to hear. She's always taking it on, you know, face forward. And that, and that I can have respect for. Yeah, I'll just jump in real quick because I was going to say it. I think she. I don't think she should have switched, because we need a. I think it's good to have a Republican in the Democratic Party. You, you know, know, they've got plenty of rhinos. We need some dinos, you know, to kind of balance it out. So that's why I don't think she should have switched. That's an interesting perspective. I can see that. But you know, sometimes people have to, uh, you know, have some integrity too. Right. Because that isn't having integrity to pretend that you're something that you're not in order to infiltrate, you know, the other side. Uh, maybe it's a war tactic, but I wouldn't call it integrity. You know, it's also like she could also hold on to some of that Democratic value, maybe make the Democrats, again, what they were before. But, you, you know, know, I think... But you just jump ship and just let it go, and that may be the best thing, just let it let it go down and restart. Yes. Democrats need to keep doing what they're doing. And, and stay with this woke shit that's going on, okay? It, just keep tearing people's, you know... Like their belief systems and uh, reality, common sense, just keep tearing it down, ripping it apart. Uh, do it. Yes, do it. And I figured out that we don't have to, as a channel here on Midnight American, we don't have to do a damn thing. Okay, the left will do it for us. The woke will do it for us. The issue that we run into, though, is now you have a bunch of fucked up youth that will be our future, this country's future, and they don't know which way is up. They have no value system. They have no spiritual connection with spirituality. And if they do, it's completely messed up. They're, they're led along by this virtue signaling garbage. And that is not going to take anyone anyplace good. You're going to have a whole generation of people that are depressed and have mental issues and all of that. I would love to be on the other end of that as that comes to pass and and help people uh, at least on my end and i think you can agree with this justin to help people be able to uh, achieve their goals and see past this be able to uh, see the, the demons for what they are and i think tulsi did here uh, she did here's here's what she's an example of someone who has a, a, a mind of her own you know, now her values and all of that may not be the same as somebody who has more conservative thoughts and, and feelings about issues, right? Fine. That's not the point. She is able to evaluate what is really going on over there. Like, in other words, l take the veil away of this wokeness that's going on. And as she said in here, the, you know, the warmongering and the, the supporting cowardly actions that are happening on the left right now. So what's going on down? And we'll read a little bit just for fun. Okay, for, former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard announced Tuesday morning she's leaving the Democratic Party. Okay, um, let's go on down here. She, she, she also urged those, I'm down on the third paragraph there. She also urged those who agreed with her to leave with just a month until the crucial midterm elections. In other words, she's telling you the same thing. Think with your mind. Look at what's really going on here. Don't just... Don't just buy into an ideology because that's what is being pitched by people that really are no smarter than you. These damn celebrities, people who are in the news, that they are no smarter than you. They, as a matter of fact, in most cases, they are dumber than you. What gives them a platform is that they, uh, they act. They're actors. They pretend to be something that they're not. They all follow a goddamn script. That's what's made them famous. They can take a script 
and they can pretend with it really well and convince you that there's something that they're not. And so they become famous and they become rich mm -hmm. and, and well-known. And then they get a platform and they step out there with this woke, dumb shit ideology. And the people who don't think any deeper than that go, oh, oh, they must know, since they are so wealthy and have all this charisma and attention, they must know something I don't know. They don't. They don't. Tulsi said, I'm not going to buy in anymore. I'm just not going to follow this. I'm going to think with my own mind and I'm looking over here and here are some people that are willing to look at common sense, the common sense of what is really happening before we go into some goddamn World War III and think through this a little bit. Think about what's going to happen. See what's happening. Don't just say, oh, well, you know, put your head in the sand and say, no, it's all for the, the, the good. I'll tell you something. The people who put Biden in power, mm -hmm. they did it out of hate. Yeah, they did. No, nobody had a Biden sticker. I think I saw one Biden sticker in my life, dude. I saw Trump flags all over the place. Still see Trump flags all Still over the place. Still see them all over the place. Yeah. I mean, we saw that Biden couldn't fill a lunchroom full of people when he was out campaigning. Trump's uh, uh, rallies look like some kind of goddamn rock and roll concert. Yeah, I mean, it, it nearly is a rock and roll concert. Yeah, you it, right. There. You just got back from one, right? You were two you, days ago. Yeah, yeah. he's working yeah, out there. The crowd goes all the way back to the entrance. It's mm -hmm. completely filled up. There's no, you know, everyone's trying to get to the front. And people can't even get out. in. Sold out. Well, they don't sell. They, the tickets are free. So. Now, now, if you now if you look at the last uh, election and and uh, the most. The most uh, fair, free and fair election we've ever had, okay, with all the mail-in ballots and all that. I don't debate at all. I won't even have that debate because does it even matter? Is, is there a debate on the last election? Should we even debate it? No. No, don't even debate it. It's done. It's gone. You learn from it. So if we jump over, you know, read this paragraph here. This is the, uh, I could no longer remain in today's Democratic Party that is now under the complete control of an elitist cabal of warmongers driven by cowards, wokeness, who divide us by race, uh, racializing every issue and stoke anti-white ra racism, ac actively work to undermine our God-given freedoms, are hostile to people of faith mm -hmm. and spirit spirituality, demonize the police and protect criminals at the expense of law-abiding Americans, believe in open borders, weaponize the national security state to go after political opponents, and above all, dragging us ever closer to nuclear war. Do you see the theme there and what she's saying? And, I, and I'll and just save you some time here. The negativity of some... I don't You're know. getting close. You're getting real close. It's hate. Uh -huh. It's hate. If you voted against... Well, if you voted for Biden, you, you voted out of hate. You didn't vote because you loved Biden. Biden didn't do anything for anyone to love Biden. He was the Democrat. That's all he was. He was just a member of your troop. You know, had the D. He had the D. That's all he needed. But you wanted Trump out of there because you listened to all the Hollywood and the media and all of that. Maybe you just felt in your own heart that Trump just wasn't the guy. Still, nonetheless, rather than doing what was best for the country, listening to the words that were coming out of the mouths of the two people that were standing there on stage and using your common sense, looking at the way history plays out, if you know your history at all, and saying, I, I, I'm going to go with my common sense here, not my hate. And hate put this party in power right now, and, and it's fascist, it's very fascist, and it's, it's put us on the brink of war where we're at right now has put us, it's made our gas prices sky high. It's, it's killed our, our, our economy and it's not getting better. And so why this would... is why Tulsi Gabbard is switching parties. She doesn't want to be with the party of hate. Okay. Where everything, every decision we make is because we're, we're a victim of something out there. And we hate that. We hate the other side. We hate the world. We hate the country. We hate what people have done to us and put where they put us. Why is, is everything so unfair? Why can't it all just be perfect and, and, and serve me? Me, me, me. 
And, and that mentality is what needs to be addressed. Because when you start to think with your own mind and really search your soul on this, and there needs to be a, a, a bit of spiritual connection here as well, seeing that you're not the center of the universe, but that you are a part of a collective of people that it's amazing we can all get along together mm -hmm. with the way that the human condition is. Humans can be pretty cruel. They can be yeah. pretty damn aggressive. You see it all the time. Crimes through the roof. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's out there. Us humans, we don't mind putting a bullet in another human. Most if, if, if they're driven to do so, it doesn't matter if it's on the streets or it's in war or whatever their, re their reason is, they can be pretty damn cruel. You got survival mode. You know, that'll do it. But this is not that. This is hate. This yep. is th this. And, and, and I, I will not be a part of a side that votes because they hate, not because they love this person over here. I really love who this person is. No, because I hate this person and I want them gone. I want them destroyed. I want their life torn apart. I want to see them drawn and quartered. Don't be a part of that, man.